School safety continues to remain a high priority for districts across the country and of course right here in the mid state. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell sat down with a mother today who honors her daughter's legacy by traveling the country hoping to save lives by simply pressing a button. On February 14th, I texted my daughter Alyssa. I told her to run and hide that help was on the way. But unfortunately, that help didn't arrive fast enough. And we need to make sure through the panic button that we eliminate those that confusion in that emergency situation and law enforcement can get there and EMS could come in and triage any of the victims. There's not a day that goes by where Lori Alhadef doesn't miss her daughter Alyssa, who was one of the 17 victims murdered in Parkland, Florida at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. She's been turning her pain and grief into action by starting the nonprofit Make Our School Safe and by getting Alyssa's law passed in several states, a version recently passed here in the volunteer state. Currently right now it's not mandated. Next legislative session, we hope to get Alyssa's law mandated, get funding supporting surrounding Alyssa's law. Syntegix is one of the companies leading the charge in this new technology. So it's a silent panic alert that is independent of Wi-Fi or cellular. Uh, it ensures that there is 100% campus coverage and 100% uh, coverage for staff to have the capability to initiate a staff alert or a panic alert. The equipment is already in over 12,000 schools nationwide, including some right here in Tennessee. A total school lockdown can be triggered by any staff member on the school's campus by repeatedly pressing the crisis alert badge. Lori says it's an extra layer of security. Here in Tennessee, it's not mandated to have an SRO officer in every school. Therefore, every school needs to have their panic button. And would be in addition to what school districts are already doing. Are they checking IDs? Are kids wearing badges? She hopes to get Alyssa's law passed in every state and as soon as possible. Reporting for News Channel 5, I'm Erin Kentrell. These panic buttons can also be used for medical emergencies or in case of a disruption like students fighting. Lori's goal is to get Alyssa's law passed on the federal level.